But I still don't think the world is a poorer place because it lacks a Johnny Mac perfume, even though Eau de McEnroe does have a certain ring to it. Scentland, the land of scent. Why, oh why didn't Johnny Mac release a fragrance? I would have bought it. I'm a huge Mac and Roll fan ever since the 80s. And um, obviously a, a fan of the game as well, although it's not the same anymore as it was. Loads of great personalities around in the 70s, 80s, 90s. After that, it kind of deteriorated, in my opinion at least. But John McEnroe, my favorite player, did not finally release any eau de toilette, any eau de McEnroe, although I think it would have been a success. But at least he has two autobiographies out, which, um, which are very interesting and which I recommend you to uh, have a read. So, you know, um, it's an interesting topic. Fragrances done or inspired by tennis celebrities. We have many celebrities launching fragrances, singers, actors, musicians, whatnot, uh, socialites, you know, and, and obviously the, uh, the quality kind of varies. Um, I have several celebrity fragrances that I love, um, especially from the house of Alain Delon, as you know, French actor. Um, but tennis, the game of tennis is obviously restricting the options of any um, fragrance launch because everybody has a certain expectation about the game of tennis and the, the players within. So it's interesting what sort of a take a tennis celebrity um, does aim for when he or she releases a certain fragrance because, you know, is it green? Is it fresh? Is it sporty? Or what is it all about? Well, in my top of three, we have some of each. Some of each. So let's start at the um, spot number three and um, a gentleman by the name of Carlos Moya. Carlos Moya, who has been a uh, world number one player in 1999, if I'm not mistaken. And um, he has a he has brought the fragrance out in 2010, so way past his, his peak as a professional tennis player, um, and it's called My Game. I reviewed this uh, way back a few years ago separately. Um, uh, it is a I love it because it's a, this one is I think it's a 30 mil. Uh, actually, it's a yeah 30 mil. It's an order toilet. Um, and it's a great pocket fragrance and the smell is actually fantastic it's a totally standalone smell uh, of very good quality it's not your usual it's kind of um, fresh locker room smell right this is something that um, that is, is, is kind of a exotic smelling it smells like uh, sunshine on on a, on a, that 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 um, arrives the first ray, rays of sun that arrive onto a breakfast table where you have different sorts of fruit and bread and just an overall great mood. You know uh, that. This fragrance particularly reminds me of, of such a uh, setting, very much so. And therefore I used it. I, I never had a chance to, to buy it again, because I'm, I'm not sure if it's still available. But Carlos Moya definitely had, has done a great job with this one, um, because it's likable and it's good. And it's not very long lasting, but you're happy to reapply and it's great to carry it around. I've only seen it in this size, but I think it's available in, in, in more sizes than just this one. And uh, obviously all the tennis celebrity fragrances are department store fragrances, okay? So we're not talking about high-end, very expensive fragrances here. But for what it is, Carlos Moya's My Game is a great choice. Spot number three. 
Spot number two, we travel to Argentina to a great female tennis player, great player of her time. Um, she had everything, she had the talent, she had the intelligence, she had the looks. I'm talking about Gabriella Sabatini. And uh, she has started in 1989, I, I think, together with the German uh, fragrance company Mühlens, a corporation, a cooperation that produced many, many fragrances. And my favorite one of them is a 2001 release called Devotion. Gabriella Sabatini Devotion, released in 2001. And this is, again, it's not a locker room tennis type of smell. This smells like you've just won a Grand Slam. You just won the US Open, like she did, I think, in 1990, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, she was actually world number three that year in 1990. This came out 2001, as I mentioned. So this smells like you have just won the US, uh, US Open, and this smells like you're going well-dressed, nicely dressed, to the after party. That's an after party smell to me, absolutely. It's, it's a warm, almost gourmand spicy fragrance with, with a lovely touch of, um, of cocoa or chocolate or, or maybe tonka bean is in there as well. Definitely something gourmandish, but dry, not overly sweet. It's dry. It's, it's, in, it's never this overly sweet, in your face sweetness and, and like Salvatore Ferragamo Uomo, where you just think it's a fucking dessert, right? Okay. No, this is much better, much more sophisticated. Um, again, it's a, it's a cheapy, it's a department store fragrance, or it was. Um, but for that, it has a very reasonable performance. And, and again, it's a unique smell. It's a unique smell. Um, I totally adore it. It's very comforting, very cozy, a, a great compliment getter. Uh, but it's not an on-court fragrance for any guy. It's it's an it's an after-party fragrance, you know, after the match party fragrance. I mean, right? So um, Gabriella Sabatini's devotion is, in my opinion, the best from her line, and this is how it made it into my top three of um, tennis celebrity fragrances for men. And on spot number one, something had to top all this that actually reminds us of the sport itself you know of the of the energy that goes in there of the of the freshness of the grass you know the green grass let's say Wimbledon um, and and something that you know um, resembles the overall hype and vibe of the sport and one former number one has produced such a fragrance back uh, in 2009. This has been released by the house or by the tennis celebrity, former number one, world number one, Andy Roddick. And this is the bottle. And the bottle, let me tell you, is heavy. Is very heavy glass and very heavy metal. This is not just, this is not just uh, plastic. It's, it's heavy. So the entire composition is a 50 mil, it's heavy, it's really strong, like Roddick was, you know, uh, or still is. Sorry for that, Andy. Um, the fragrance itself, it gives, enjoy the invigorating all-American scent of the Andy Roddick fragrance. It's a good one, I can tell you. It's, again, department store fragrance, right? What does it smell like? It's fresh green and uh, athletic smelling. It's, it's not a locker room smell, but you can imagine it in a locker room or a tennis court or indeed any kind of sports. The great thing is about this one that it's fairly good in its lasting power, yet it's never pushy uh, like many sports scents that are trying to achieve you know, um, the, the, their impression in the very first five minutes and then fade away. This is more kind of a lingering one. Um, so it has a presence, but it's a part of your aura. And this is something that I can really associate with somebody 
who plays tennis because for tennis you have to have a great mental and physical endurance meaning that you're not shooting away your your energy and your concentration in the first five minutes but you have to you endure for a long time on the court in order to to bring the match home right to bring the game home and this is how this fragrance performs um, so I'm not sure how much it is still available as I said it's been launched in 2009 but for me looking at a tennis celebrity fragrance both the presentation presentation as well as the smell and its performance is very good actually it's great it's totally enjoyable don't expect more than you can expect from a tennis celebrity fragrance right but for what it is all three of them Roddick, Sabatini and Carlos Moya are great great fragrances and um, I thought that it's definitely worth to introduce them to you especially since again nobody's talking about them they're cheap and each of them is interesting for their own sake you know what they can give you what they can deliver um, each of them has a different kind of vibe and therefore it makes it really diverse which I love and uh, if you have the chance to get your hands on, on one of them, why not? Tennis celebrity fragrances, you know? And maybe the day will come when good old Johnny Mac is going to release his own. If you, if you watch this, John, please, you know, come on, come on. Give us some New York type of Johnny Mac fragrance. Now, we, we, we all want that, Johnny. Take care, guys. Johnny, John. Please, release that fragrance.